ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Drinks on Monday podcast. Today, Pat, Mike, and I are on location in historic Blue Island to visit the Blue Island Beer Company. We're joined here with Al, who's going to take us on a little tour and answer some of our questions. You guys ready? Yeah, absolutely. Did you choose this location just out of happenstance, or was there a direct well, we desire were... to get into Old Western Avenue? We were focused on opening a brewery on the south side. Okay. We were uh, pretty well informed with some of the things that Blue Island had to offer with Old Western Avenue, uh, especially the maple tree being down here. They were one of the first bars and restaurants that had a uh, beer list that they treated like a wine list, and uh, that was really impressive. But the Rock Island Public House opened up uh, a year or so before we were even getting everything going down here. And, and they were in their infancy, they were hugely supportive and uh, you know, so, so much culturally in mind with what we were doing that we uh, you know, uh, just leaned on them and they were so helpful that it kind of helped uh, propel us to finally choose in this location after looking at some other spots around here between uh, uh, the Oak Lawn and Mount Greenwood and Evergreen Park area. So you had the desire to open the brewery first? And yes, then, that was first, yes. So, and, and before the name, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yes. So yeah, there was like a, you weren't going to open the Blue Island Brewery in like Mount Greenwood. No, right? there, was <laughs> a, uh, there was a working title for the, the brewery, and once we settled on this being our location, we ended up... What was it? What was the working it? title? The working title was uh, Clamping Gasket, uh, relating to the uh, numerous clamping gaskets you'll see on a number of the fittings all over this place. They're right here on all this stainless steel piping that you're going to see throughout uh, most of a brewery. So, not unique to us at all, but you know, it's a, um, a heavy duty component to making sure uh, things aren't leaking around here. Good name, strong yeah. name. So, when, when you brew this, how much does it, does it make? Uh, we've been doing, uh, we have a technically 20 barrel fermenters with a 10 barrel brew house, so we do two, uh, two turns over two days to, to fill a uh, that's technically 40 cake to beer, 620 uh, gallons worth of product. And depending on how how good it is or how, yeah. how well you distribute it, that's how fast it sells out. Yeah, um, and there is a bit, bit of a balancing act there to make sure that we have it available here in the tap room as, as much as we can. Well, meanwhile, getting it out to some of our distributed accounts for the sake of uh, promotion and just people that aren't going to make it here that frequently are going to be able to taste it wherever they're at. The first growler I brought from the Wild Beer Company was the Azakit. Azakit Takana. Azakit Takana. It was actually given to me as a sample at a different bar, and I loved it. It yeah. was um, it was very bright and very crisp and had a nice smooth yeah. finish to it, which, um, you know, when people say craft beer, I, I always think that they are talking about the real hoppy IPAs yeah. that that you keep tasting the bitterness even though you're not drinking it. And I, I just like that. Like, you know, sometimes domestic beer that, that you don't taste while you're not drinking it is something that I that I like. But the Aza could take it, Aza, Aza Katakana. Uh, reminded me a lot of Zombie Dust, which is a, a Three Floyds yeah. beer that's also, I think, in the same category. It would be, uh, you know, Pale Ale or American Pale Ale. Uh, yep, and um, you know, the one thing uh, that kind of was our inspiration for that beer to start with is that we were looking for a different kind of hop that we could single hop a beer with, and Azaka was new to the market uh, as far as the hop. So is that the hop? That was the hop, yeah, Azaka. Okay. Uh, the beer was named uh, after most of the people that live around the neighborhood here in Blue Island are from Zacatecas, uh, Mexico. Okay. And a person from there would be called Zacatecano or Zacatecano. And we, uh, uh, you know, it was kind of a no brainer, a Zaca, and ran right into a Zacatecano. Dusty 
bills in the house. <laughs> DJ Dusty Bills! <laughs> So here we are for the second part of our Blue Island Beer Co Company segment, and the first question I want to lead off with is, so how the podcast works is that every week we drink a new type of booze, and, uh, well, no, it's, it's sometimes beer, beer sometimes it's alcohol, sometimes moonshine, whatever. I, uh, I, did, I didn't tune into your uh, podcast. Uh, what I, did we, did you might enjoy it. The, I mean, the worst episode we did was probably the... We haven't done a bad episode, you're crazy. Well, the, I'm saying as far as... Intoxication was probably the Captain Morgan. Oh no, the, everybody was Captain there. Morgan snuck up on us. Captain, okay, here's what, here's what happened. Captain Morgan, like everybody was the whole show. Well, Jen, everybody scared him, so Jen, everybody took it real yeah. easy. Everybody was real nice. Yeah. Captain Morgan, like the first 10 minutes of the show, was like, yeah, you know, it's Captain, Morgan. Captain Morgan. It's a nice, easy booze, gets you a nice, mellow high. A handle later. <laughs> Jesus. And then we dipped it into Sailor Jerry, which has oxy in it. <laughs> It was it was three people. Cut. Yeah. It was three people. It listened, it didn't sound like three friends, it sounded like three people that hated each other. Sitting in the kitchen. <laughs> so when we do when we love Bombay Sapphire, man. So the gin well, man, that's the, the, the gin. Like I said, everyone's gin is very people, what 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 are are people are afraid of gin. We've got a couple different things, so no, it wasn't even Gordon, it was Gilby. No, it was Gilby. 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 So when Gilby we, Clark. <laughs> Gilby Clark. I bet you Gilby Clark would drink that gin. When we do the Blue yeah, Island Beer Company, <laughs> we do the Blue, Blue Island Beer Company episode, we're going to have crawlers of whatever it is. Uh, talk about like the whole the bottling procedure for crawlers, how people want to go. Yeah. They can get a growler. And what is a growler? Because not all the listeners at home may be familiar with that terminology. You know, growlers are 64 ounce half gallon jugs that you can take to go with you. Um, in our case, they're a one time for 16. You get to refill them just like they're milk jugs, except way cooler because they don't have milk in them. Well, think, about, think about the jugs from cartoons with like the three X's on them. The cartoon characters would blow on them. That's pretty shit I can say. And, and that, uh, that's kind of what a growler is. Yeah. And uh, it's got like a handle on it. You know, it's cool that it's, uh, gosh, I wish I had one here to show you, but uh, they are, it looks like that one right over there. That big nuclear spit bottle, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you get that they, full of beer. Yeah, you get that full of beer, and uh, we are, I think, relatively affordable uh, in the world of growler fills. You know, our flagship beers are pretty cheap. Um, our specialty beers are a little bit more, but they're still not economical in the world. And what is, what is the first time purchase of a growler? Uh, the glass jug itself is five dollars, and again, uh, we will uh, not only exchange our dollars with a freshly sanitized one every time you bring it back, but we will refill someone else's, especially from a local brewery around here. If uh, you had the diligence to uh, clean it out and uh, make sure it's rinsed uh, adequately, we will uh, refill it with one of our beers and definitely support the craft beer movement, especially here on the south side of Chicago. And it's always a pleasure to get to fill it. Speaking of which, I see your stuff over at uh, Blarney Stone. Yeah. That's why I want to go over there. Yep. You guys have a good relationship with them, too? We have a great relationship with Blarney Stone and their new uh, location in Bradley, the Hoppy Pig that just opened up uh, a couple months ago. So for like a for, to get the bottle and to get the beer, it's like 20, 30 bucks. No, it's uh, less than that. It's, uh, the the most uh, would be twenty dollars, and that would be uh, the five dollars plus a fifteen dollar wow. fill here at our location. And, uh, we have had more expensive fills than that, but uh, most of the flagships start at ten dollars. So. And then to fill that one up, that's like how many cans of beer? Uh, technically, it's uh, four pints of beer. So. Uh, you have four 16 ounce pours in a uh, 64 ounce growler. Which is 64 oh, five ounces all together, but a beer is 12 ounces. A can of beer is 12 ounces. A can of beer is 12 ounces, which is five beers. So five beers for 20 bucks. Either way, you're definitely. Fucking calculus. Yeah, you're, you're getting a goddamn deal. Isn't it? Yeah, no, it definitely is. It definitely is. All right, that wasn't in particular calculus. I'm just. I, I'm pretty sure that was trigonometry, uh, <laughs> if I know my man. I don't to take trigonometry. Man, yeah, did you have a good time today oh, at yeah, the uh, Blue Island? Sure, uh, great time. What's the actual name? The Blue Island Blue Beer, Beer Company. Beer Company. 
Um, I was going to ask Al what the exact address is. Uh, well, we'll get him when he comes back out in the back room. Look at this over hey, here. Look, hey. at, look at this shit. Siddler, get away from look her. Look at this shit. Oh, he <laughs> this is not even fucking paying attention. So, um, this is what a growler looks like. Remember we were talking about earlier what a growler looks like? I got a growler of the, uh, the coffee-infused e and early and often with Bridgeport, uh, Bridgeport beans. Did you try it first? No, but I, I mean, I'll commit to it. Like, I don't believe in beer flights. Like, I'll commit. Like, I, when I tell a bartender, I'll... Yeah, but there's a difference between committing to 12 ounces and committing to 64 ounces. When I... The, plus there's, the clock has already started ticking. You got five days to drink. Sure. Five days? Yeah. Oh, no, beer stays for a long time. Well, yeah, but flat. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, we'd like to thank Al from the Blue Island Beer Company for having us out tonight. We'd like to thank our uh, sound crew, Britta, and actually, and Timmy Sidler, who's been molesting both of them behind the scenes for this final segment. Look at this guy. <laughs> he doesn't even try to pretend like, hey, come be in my movie so I can fucking rub up on you. He just waits for other people to make the movie, and then he rubs up on it. Why the fuck didn't I think of this? Because you don't know anybody else that's making a fucking movie. She's holding the boomstick. I know. And I hey, it's Timmy weird. Sidler. And here's, here's Al. The boomstick? Say boomstick, dude, two more times. This fucking guy. <laughs> Oh, Alright, we're doing hey, we're doing we're doing the hey, goodbye. We'll back there, like, Thanks again for having us. Yeah, 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 like, thank you very much. Uh, what's your hey, address? Hey, how's it going? We're 13357 Old Western Avenue. We are uh, in the southeast corner of the building that uh, uh, neighbors to uh, Aztec Inc. Tattoo and uh, Giuseppe's. You ever got a tattoo over at Aztec Inc.? Pardon? It's a gravel parking lot. It's uh, park on Old Western too. Yeah. Is uh, all those people right. in the parking lot going to islands? Sure. Sometimes they are. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, ballpark hours of operation Monday through Friday. No, Monday and Tuesday we are closed. So we okay. do a lot of delivery, packaging, and brewing stuff those days. Chinese food is closed on Monday. It's no yeah. big deal. It happens. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday. You can't get a haircut on Monday either. Wednesday and Thursday were two to nine o'clock. Okay. Uh, Fridays two to ten o'clock. Okay. Saturday twelve to ten o'clock and twelve to six on Sunday. Okay. So. Uh, and Thursday is open mic night. And I was here once for Killer Clowns from Outer Space. You yeah, guys we do movies, tons all of kinds of stuff. Specialty events throughout the month. You gotta keep on tab on our Facebook page and our web page. Okay. And BlueIslandBeerCo.com. Uh, BlueIslandBeerCo.com. BlueIslandBeerCo.com. What so, website is that? BlueIslandBeerCo.com. And it's just a co.com after Blue Island Beer. So BlueIslandBeerCo.com. So BlueIslandBeerCo.com. Yeah, okay. and there's an events tab at BlueIslandBeerCo.com. <laughs> and if you want to get in touch with Blue Island Beer Co. and just can't figure it out, email us here at Drinks on Monday. And we'd be at happy gmail. to gmail.com. We'd be happy to put you in touch with you. And uh, all the normal channels to do that. But we do keep tabs on our Facebook and our Twitter page as much as we can with all that stuff to stay connected to all the uh, fine folks who like to visit us here in the tap room. And drink our yeah, here we are. In the, this is the tap room. We're having the tour in the tap room, which is I like it. I think. Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you, Al. Yeah. Thank you, for taking thank time. you guys so much. Yeah. Matt, Mike. 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 The other yeah. one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> thank God y'all have three letters in your name. This motherfucker over here. Timmy, get away from the girl. I'm not sure. Peace out.